Um, obviously excited to get the season started um, and uh, to get it with a win is, is awesome uh, against a really good team in, in Richmond. We've, uh, we've had some tough games with those guys, so uh, the decision to play them early was definitely one where it's, uh, for us, uh, going to be pretty challenging given what we've lost. Um, but also, we told the guys, you know, we have enough confidence in them that, um, you know, if they just play together and play hard, um, you know, we have faith that they could find a way to get a win today. So, um, super excited to get the season going. Uh, these guys have worked hard since August, and uh, just great to see a lot of new faces uh, involved and um, getting a good team win. I think the first thing that has to be proved by the lawyer on behalf of any client who's injured their neck or back is that the client was hurt, and they were hurt in this accident. And even though they had pre-existing problems, the damage to this individual client is much worse now after the crash than it was before. We do that with pain and suffering witnesses. We do that with doctors that know the individual patient. So Logan, you, uh, you had a great game, but I want to talk about it. It seemed like every time the defense maybe wasn't organized or there was a breakdown, late trail check or you're making a big save. Can you talk about um, what that defense in front of you, including that the new kind of midfield units, what that's yeah. like playing behind them? I think uh, starting in August, um, we kind of brought a group together. Obviously, the committees, it's a little different, but we've all kind of bought into having a kind of a team-oriented defense and really okay. buy into that. And when it works, it works. And, you know, I've made a lot of trust in those guys in front of me, and they have trusted me too. And it's just, you know, um, staying together as a team, working together, and you know, making some stops. Yeah, Jack, it seems like uh, there's a lot of pieces now in offense uh, between all the middies that are playing. Uh, did you feel it was a cohesive day? There were some turnovers, but you still got 15 goals. Yeah, you know, mistakes are going to happen. Um, but with our new group, we've been, like Logan said, working since August, and we all came together. We bought into our system. Um, we haven't changed that since, uh, since I've been here. Um, so I'm confident in all of our guys, and I know they all are all confident. Um, and we'll keep uh, improving and keep moving forward. When you're in there with different guys, is, there just, is it a matter of the puzzle, piece of the puzzle is different and the plays are the same or you have to adjust it? Yeah, I think we keep everything the same. And I think as long as, you know, everyone is pretty easy to play with. Um, that's our goal is just, you know, be the guy that's being easy to play with. So we, we keep doing that and we'll all work together and be one. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Four Gates. We make your company work. I'm Arthur Smith with Viner Four Gates. Two-factor authentication is a must-have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. Coach, congrats on the win. Uh, Owen Murphy scored a little bit of time talk with the plan for him to kind of shoot the ball as much as he did, or was it just that he had the hot hand? Um, now, uh, the way, and, and, and Jack kind of mentioned it, we really don't, necessarily go into a game going we need this guy to get that many shots um, you know traditionally with the, you know the attackman to be out there all game they, they typically are going to get more opportunities especially if you have some unsettled um, but Murph is a guy that and, and it's funny these guys play club ball with them so they've played with them for a long time uh, Murph just kind of has a knack uh, for, for scoring and, and kind of getting the good spots and, and finding spots and I thought that his teammates did a good job of finding him too Two bigger moments early in the game. First one goes to Logan. What a way to start this off with a long pass to Geppert. Take us through that play. Yeah, it kind of starts in practice. Um, do a lot of preparation with that. Um, kind of doing goalie work with just the goalie specific. Um, working on kind of those outlets, having pressure in the face, and kind of trying to find a spot to get it up and out, get it to our offense, and uh, push some transition. I have a lot of trust in our guys breaking out and pushing transition, starting from um, the D mid group, the LSMs, even the defenders that play um, close to me. So uh, I have trust in those guys. They can make those plays and you know, worked out today. Did you get a chance to smile after he scored? A little bit. Okay. Yeah, it was a little faster than the guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and something that really talks to the heart of this team uh, in talking to Bruce in the press box throughout the game, the defense was still there. But there was that moment in the first period where Richmond seemed like they had the ball for four minutes and you guys finally held, and I saw 
uh, number one turned to the stands and, and Brett sort of shook his fist and the place went crazy. Mm -hmm. What did that feel like to you guys to hold him down that long? I mean, you, you, you get tired out there. It's, you know, it's the first game of the season. Um, it kind of riled up a little bit. Um, but playing that long of a possession is difficult. But we, uh, we practice like we play games. We, uh, we compete practice and it transfers over to game so we were prepared for that moment we have guys that can play when they're tired so it's pretty special to see especially that long of a possession and um you know come up with a stop and get it to our offense it's pretty pretty um, um good for that so i guess this could be for any of you what did you guys think of kind of i guess this kind of i guess new starting lineup or players going back to the starting lineup that haven't started in years and yeah uh, go ahead Jeff. um i think it's just being confident in our group. Um, I think we've kind of started to formulate these lineups um, and we've been able to build a confidence together through practice and preparation. Um, and I think going against each other every day, whether it's our offense, when it gets our defense or against the scout guys, um, everyone's really good. So it kind of helps with uh, confidence building. Coach, I believe this is your program's 30th straight season opening win. How important is it just kind of start the season on the right note? Yeah, I, I think obviously going against a good team um, and then having put in so much work. Um, and I can, I kind of to Jack's point, uh, it, there's been a lot of change. Um, there's been a lot of change since August. You know, half our staff's gone. Um, a lot of, you know, guys that have been here for a while are gone. So there's been a lot of new parts. Um, even in the preseason, you know, we've a bunch of guys in and out. Um, so. In fairness, these guys, the first couple games, I'm not sure we felt totally settled. Um, but these guys, like, pretty resilient group, like, didn't flinch. Um, and I felt like they just got better and better uh, each week. And I thought it showed today they were super unselfish. Uh, the guys shared the ball. The stick work was better, I think, than it's been. So credit to those guys and, and um, Coach Jake uh, doing a really good job. And, uh, you know, Jesse obviously did a really good job with the defensive group. Not really sure who was going to play um, and who was going to be playing with who. Um, and we, again, we've had some battles with Richmond. I mean, they've been able to put up some goals against us. So um, I know it was a source of pride for those guys. And you mentioned the change. Like, um, how kind of relieving is it to know that despite all this change, you guys are still a dominant team? Um, you know, I, I think for us, you know, just we believe in our guys. Um, we always look at what they could be. Um, and. You know, if they're not there yet, our goal, right, as, as coaches or teachers and parents is always to try to help them be their best version of themselves and try to get them to either through, get them out of their comfort zone to try to push and challenge them. Um, so, you know, with these guys, it's just a matter of, you know, kind of giving them some structure, but also giving them some freedom. And uh, I know we have confidence in all those guys. Um, and with the way we play offense, you kind of have to. Uh, but we have smart players, skilled players, guys that, you know, are always going to make the extra pass. And when you have guys like that that work as hard as these guys do, um, it makes our job a whole lot easier. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, Coach, I want to ask you about the, all, the, all the change you've had, especially losing air for the year. That's a tough blow for you guys. But guys like Daniel Maltz, Brayden Ertz have stepped up today and had a pretty big role in, in your attack. How big of a role do you see them having this year, and how do you think they played today? Yeah, you know, Danny's played a lot um, for us and, and might have been our most improved guy uh, this fall. Um, you know, has, has really committed to become uh, just a stronger Dodger, and he made that very clear early in our preseason uh, in the fall. Uh, he's dodging better than he's ever dodged. Uh, you saw that today. He kind of posted up and turned and shot it. Um, so a lot of that I give Danny the credit. He bested all summer long. Um, and was really dedicated to try to prove his game, which he's done. Um, and Braden's been a nice, uh, nice addition. He had a really good fall. I thought he played well against Team USA. Um, and I do think, like some of our preseason scrimmages, you know, we talked about it pregame. We had Team USA. We had our alums, which is basically a PLL All Star game. Um, Cornell, Duke, and Georgetown. So um, I wouldn't say any of those like were you know, like magical games or ones that we were totally clean or felt like we, we were, you know, great coming out of there. It felt like we learned a lot and these guys got challenged a lot and then we were able to learn a lot about, you know, maybe what we need to do better and try to improve. And uh, I think these guys have just done a really good job of just trying to get better each week and, and realizing that even today, we, we, we need to be better next week. 
Um, and that's the fun part of it is, you know, letting them enjoy tonight, but get back uh, on Monday. So you touched on Brady a little bit. If you could just dive deeper into how impressed you were with his performance in his first game and what you see his role as the season goes on. Yeah, he's uh, you know he's a very athletic guy, um, a guy that we really liked in the recruiting process, um, and uh, you know he's very quick, he's skilled, um, he's a tough cover, um, and I think for the spring it just seems like the game has slowed down a lot. Um, you know we we went back and we were watching our 2020 game and felt like with Danny Maltz and Jack Brennan, um, you know they were freshmen and they were playing in, in the Richmond game, and I felt like. That the game really slowed down from fall to spring, and I, I feel like there's a lot of similarities with Braden. Yeah. John, uh, you know, you haven't scored this for, I think, 43 or 44 minutes there, so obviously they had a pretty good day. Um, your shorties, you know, how do you assess how they did? And then obviously everyone's interested in Dante's you know, return to the cross field, so how do you assess that? Uh, yeah, you know, I think, you know, a couple of things with that. I, I thought one of the most important, like, um, points in the game was we, you know, they score and then we're manned out for two minutes. And that could have been really problematic because it was two minute non-releasable. And I thought Luke winning that face off, uh, we were able to kill 80 out of that two minutes. And then by the time they cleared, it was basically a 30 second penalty. But if they had won that face off, we would have been manned down on the next face off. So that was like a, a moment that was really pivotal. So I thought we did a good job with that. Um, and the short six just have gotten better and better and better. Um, still some more work to do, but uh, I know Coach Bernhardt's really done a good job with those guys, and those guys have been logging a lot of extra time. Um, certainly Dante is one of those guys. Um, he, he's, uh, you know, I've known him a long time. Uh, I still remember we had a little youth day here, and he was running around with the old school uh, Maryland flag highlight uh, Under Armour shoes. And, uh, you know, we were kind of like, man, who's that guy? Uh, so to see him run around play lacrosse here was super cool. Um, he's a uh, very dedicated guy, um, you know, like, you know, he, he's a quick learner. We've tried to be very careful. You know, the bowl game was so late that we didn't want to overload him. And uh, he's a guy that he kind of only knows one way. And so, you know, he's going hard every day. And so I think as, you know, like, you know, obviously the – the older guys, we can sometimes realize young guys, you have to save them from themselves. And so for Dante, um, we've really tried to collaborate with Ryan Davis, who's a strength coach of football, and Coach Locks has been great. Um, you know, he's still doing some things with them, um, but we're all doing it together to manage his load and making sure we're not giving him too much. Um, and Dante still feels a lot of pride to make sure he's helping and leading some of the football guys when they have workouts. So. Um, it's been good so far. Um, you know, he's a guy that, again, he's so competitive and so dedicated that I'm not surprised he's doing well. Um, knowing him, he probably is going to be very um, scrutinizing of his performance. Uh, but for day one, I thought he did a pretty good job. I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I guess this could be for Logan, but I guess the sh um, how were you able to get, or I mean, maybe you were making saves, but. Um, getting Richmond to kind of shoot their shots that were off target, because that was like a big, big discrepancy that your shots from, Maryland shots from were on target and Richmond's were off target. Um, that all comes from the from the guys in front of me. Um, and um, starting practice, you know, our scout guys do a really good job giving looks um, of what we're going to see on Saturdays or on weekends. And our defense played super hard. Um, we worked together, we communicated with each other. And that's just a testament to, to how hard those guys work and get those guys to good spots where I can save the ball and they, and I kind of tell them kind of where I want to see those shots, and they put them in those spots, and it was a pretty good day for us. Coach, I got an issue about 120. Jack McDonald comes down, and he looks like he's going to go back off when the ball gets settled, but then he settles in in an attack position, gets the pass, and just rifles the shot on Is that something, you know, I mean, you know is, where does he make that decision to be put it through that way? Um, you know, we, we've kind of committed to, you know, everybody on the team being dangerous, you know, whether it's Brett, you know, or, or, or Jack or whoever it may be. So uh, we do a lot of work even, you know, since August, the polls will shoot. Uh, we feel like having that, those goals, you never know when they're going to come. Um, they are big momentum goals. Um, Jack, I'm not sure there's a guy that works harder than Jack McDonald on our team. Yeah, I, yeah, I would um, agree. He's, yeah, he's one of our hardest workers. Um, he is a guy that, 
was a really late addition to that class. Um, and I don't think he decided to come here until like maybe December of his senior year. Um, and since the day he got here, he's worked and worked and worked. Um, and we all have a lot of confidence in him. Um, but he scored against Cornell in the fall. Um, I think everybody has a lot of confidence in him because he works so hard, whether it's staying after and doing footwork or shooting. But even in the weight room, he's always doing extra work. So um, kind of typifies the, the guys that we have here. Um, you know, kind of the be the best mentality. He, he really does max out what he has. And uh, again, I think he's going to have a really good year for us. Um, and obviously, Gep gets a goal there, so that's huge. Um, and again, like the transition stuff's helpful, but I do think Richmond had some really good looks today and opportunities. And I think Logan bailed us out on a bunch of those. Um, and it's something that obviously we're going to have to go back and look at. Um, you know, just clean some things up, but it's nice to have some some veterans in good spots, whether it was Luke at the faceoff or, or him in goal. So, again, a lot to improve upon, especially with Loyola. Um, they're going to be really tough up there. They always are.